With us now is one of the hottest young properties in the paddock, Justin Cooper. Justin, welcome to MXTV, buddy. Mate, great ride today. You really are starting to hit your straps now. What do you think it is that's really giving you that extra speed? A lot of preseason prep, a lot of work with the team. We're building every weekend and uh, the progress is great. Yeah. It's, it's just been getting better every weekend, stronger second moto, more fitness. Everything's coming together nicely. To get to where you are today, mate, starting out a minis to here, tell us about the progress and how it happened. Not the greatest mini career, to be honest. Uh, barely made Loretta's back like five years ago in the 85 class. I think I got like 30th. Just uh, things started clicking once I got into the bigger bikes. 125, I got third at Loretta's. Yeah. Then I won a couple titles in the B classes, or college boy. Yeah. Then got hurt the next year, and then just really had a breakout season after I got hurt at Loretta's in 2016. From then on, I had pretty much won everything. I won Minios, then I won all those spring nationals in the A class, and then I went to Loretta's and dominated both classes, and now we, here we are. So we what did you do the year prior to that? You must have been doing a lot of riding or a lot of gym work. There must have been something to give you that click, because it's great to hear out there that you don't have to be an eight-year-old phenom to be able to be a pro rider. You can do it later on. Yeah, just everything started clicking at the right time for me. I mean, you got to make it happen. If that's the mindset I had. I had to make it happen. I had to, I had to be the top guy to get a good ride and uh, be successful yeah. in this sport. So, yeah, everything. I still have the same mindset. I'm still trying to get up to the front, and uh, that's what we're doing. Two podiums in a row now. We were only four races in, so we got we got another eight races in the season. Yeah. So I'm really pumped on the start of the season, and uh, yeah, and I haven't even been a pro for a year, so just still learning. And what about our good mate Will Hart, now the team manager? How do you get along with him? Well, this is a funny story. I, I live with Will Hart. Oh, really? I'm in his house, so uh, I think that's part of my success, honestly. I uh, live with him. He keeps me on the right track. Yeah. I can obviously get a lot of help from him. He helps me day in, day out, on yeah. and off the track. Uh, he's a great guy all around to be around. And he can still twist the throttle, can't he? Oh, yeah. He, he was out there in the 125 race giving it Given 100% for the I, team. I know. Does he, does he ride the 250s with you guys? Does he go for a practice ride with you? He'll, he'll help us test the bikes and figure things out. He's, yeah. still, he's still got it. So uh, always fun to ride with that guy. Peter, pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for having me.